comes another video on the basics of Salesforce and that is Rollup Summary Fields. In this video, I'm going to tell you three things. First, what is Rollup Summary Field and when to use it. Second, how to create it. And the third, points that you need to remember while creating a Rollup Summary Field. Let us first have a look at the basic definition of Rollup Summary Fields. Rollup summary fields summarize data from a set of related detailed records and automatically displays the output on the master record. To explain this definition, I'll take a simple example. Imagine there are two objects, A and B, and these two objects are related to each other, in which A is on the one side of the relationship and B is on the many side of the relationship. You want that, uh, like, that there can be multiple B records associated to a single A record, I mean, A object's record. In that situation, what you want is, uh, you want to summarize a field value on all the child records and display that field value, uh, that summarization onto the master record. In that situation, you will create a rollup summary field. Rollup summary fields are, uh, like, can be used to, uh, like, summarize the data of the, all the, of all the child records and display the information on the master record. This summarize operation includes four operations. You can choose any of the one. Uh, and like you, if you want, you can create multiple roll-up summary fields with different operations also. I'll explain it to you further. Uh, these summarize operations are like there are four types of summarize operations over here. First is sum of a field value on child records. What that means is that there is a uh, like I mean on object A and there is object B. Uh, there is a record of object A, A record and there are multiple records of object B. B record 1, B record 2, B record 3. Like this. And you want that, uh, I mean you want, you want to... Uh, like there is a field on B object uh, called as sum uh, or amount. You want to aggregate that amount. You want to sum all the amount and display it on the master record which is A record. Of B record 1, uh, like B record 1's amount, B records 2 amount, B records 3 amount. You want to sum all these amounts and display it on the A record. In that situation you will create a roll up summary field and select the operation as sum. Got my point? Okay. And uh, like they come second operation, maximum. Maximum of field value on the child records. What that actually means is that, like, let's take the same example, A record, B record 1, B record 2, B record 3. You want to, uh, like, test that, uh, or you want to uh, display the maximum value of the amount on, uh, like, present on that de uh, de detail records or the child records. In that situation, you will create a roll-up summary field and select the operation as maximum. The maximum amount, like, whichever it is, on the B, B record 1, on the B record 2, or the B record 3. Whichever it is, it will be displayed on the master record, which is A record. And uh, the third one is minimum of field value on the child object uh, child object records. In that situation, you will get the minimum value, minimum value of that amount field uh, on whichever record it is of the B object. And the fourth one and the very important is count of child records on a master record. What that actually means is that if you want to get the number of child records related to a master, then you'll create a roll-up summary field and in that roll-up summary field, you'll select the operation as count. In that uh, situation, you do not have to select any field to aggregate. You'll simply get the count of child records associated to a single master record. That is it. And now, if you're still confused or if you if you still didn't got that what roll-up summary fields is and like when to use it, I'm going to tell you a simple example to explain it very clearly. After that, you'll be able to create roll-up summary fields. So don't worry, stay tuned. And yes, I forgot to tell you that this relationship should always be a master detail relationship because roll-up summary fields can only be created on a one side object that is a master in a master detail relationship. We cannot create roll up summary fields on a, a detail object or on a child object or based on a lookup relationship field. So you need to make sure this point that roll up summary fields can only be created on a master object in a master detail relationship. That's it. So here is an example that will explain you completely that what is roll up summary field and when do you need to create it. So uh, let's take a simple example that there are two objects in our org. One is account that you can consider as a bank account in which we are uh, just storing the information of a particular person's account and deposits. In deposits, we are just storing the information of deposits, the amount which is deposited into a particular account. And obviously, a, a single bank account can have multiple deposits. That is the reason we have created a 
relationship field over here that, uh, in which account is on the one side and deposit is on the many side because we can deposit uh, like we, there, there can be multiple deposit records for a single account yes and this relationship field is a master table relationship field because we cannot create roll up summary fields on look up relation on the basis of a look up relationship we can only create roll up summary fields on the master record in a master table relationship so this one is the master object and this one is the retail object and now we are going to create a roll up summary field on the account object uh, to like get the uh, get uh, i mean to get aggregated information of the child records on that particular account so um, let's take an example here are three account records first one is of john's account uh, first one is john's account second is mark's account third one is paul's account in John's account, there are three deposits D1, D2, and D4. D1 is of 1000 rupees, or you can say USD dollar. Uh, like uh, D2 is of 500, $5,000, D4 is of 4000 dollar. Whereas in Mark's account, there are also three deposits D3, D5, and D6. D3 is of 8000 dollars, D5 is of 7000 dollars, and D6 is of, uh, of 3000 dollars. In Paul's account, there are only two deposits which are D4 and D7, D4 is of $5,000 and D7 is of $9,000. So here is a simple example. We will simply create a roll up summary field on the account object to aggregate the information on the child records. For, for example, if we create a roll up summary field and select the operation as sum, this is what is going to happen. In John's account, there are three deposits, D1, D2 and D4. Here it, it, it is 1000, here it is 5000, here it is 4000. So after creating a roll-up summary field and selecting the operation as sum, there will be a field created in John's account and that field will display the sum of these values. 1000 plus 5000 plus 4000. That is equal to 10,000. Got my point? So this is when you can create, like if you want to uh, sum, sum the information of a particular field, like there is a field deposit amount on deposit object and in every record this field is required so in D1 it is 1000, in D2 it is 5000, in D4 it is 4000 we are just summing it up using the roll up summary fields operation as sum so it will display 1000 over here now let's switch on to the next operation that is maximum same record of same master record and like same detail object, detail records or child records over here we'll, uh, we, we have uh, created a like uh, roll up summary field with an operation of maximum in this situation, over here there will be a field which is a roll-up summary field obviously and that field will display the maximum amount deposited that is 5000. So uh, this is how a maximum operation in roll-up summary fields work. And then comes to minimum. In minimum uh, there are again the same deposit tile records and there is John's account only. This will display the minimum value out of these, these three. So it will be thousand yeah so these three operations you can perform in a roll-up summary field so like uh, I mean on a single field you can set a single operation you cannot set multiple operations in a single field so if you want all the three things you can you have to uh, like you want sum also you want maximum also you want minimum also you'll have to create different different roll-up summary fields and in that roll-up summary field you'll have to select a different operation okay so uh, like Let's suppose that we have, uh, I mean, we, roll up, we have created a roll up summary field with the sum operation. So over here, it's uh, like it's giving the value of ten thousand. But what happens with Mark's account? On Mark's account also, there will be a field which will display eight thousand plus seven thousand plus three thousand. That will be eighteen thousand. And on the Paul's account, it will be five thousand plus nine thousand. That is 14,000 uh, in the case of sum. In the case of maximum, it will display 9,000. This will display uh, 8,000 and this will di display obviously 5,000 which is which I have shown uh, over here only. And in the case of minimum, this will display 1,000 similar to this and Mark's account will display 3,000 and Paul's account will display 5,000. And let's see the last operation which is count of the child records count does not require any field to be aggregated it just display the count of child records present on that particular master record so let's say we have created a roll up summary field and we have selected the operation as count in that situation 
it has three child records. John's account has three deposits, so it will display three. The counts of the count of child records present on this master record will be displayed into that roll of summary field. This is what uh, count operation in roll of summary fields do. Over here it will also show three, and over here it will show two because there are only two records, two child records related to Paul's account. This is how roll up summary fields work. Hope you have understood. Wanna see how to create it? Let's go. Now let's see that where do we actually need to create these roll up summary fields and if required then how to create it. So uh, as discussed in the, in, an, uh, in the earlier example, there were bank accounts and deposits. In the bank accounts, uh, we'll see all the bank accounts like this and here uh, are the all uh, here are all the three bank account records which we have discussed in the in the example John's account Paul's account and Mark's account. Now let's see that uh, what all information John's account has. In the John's account, uh, I have his account number, his email address, his contact number, his address, and all the information which a bank needs to store uh, for for every bank account holder. And uh, like if there is a bank account existing over here, there must be. Uh, deposits made into it to uh, source to see those deposits will simply go to the related list over here we can uh, find out that uh, like there, there are three deposits d1 d2 and d4 and d1 has amount deposited as 1000 and d2 has 5000 d4 has 4000 same as uh, it was in the in the example and now what i want is I want here a fee, I, I want to see a field over here which should display what is the total amount deposited into this particular account. So for that I'll simply create a roll up summary field on this bank account object. So to uh, like I'll simply follow uh, like follow the steps to create a roll up summary field on the bank account object. And I'll simply go to setup. Over there, I'll go to object manager. I can like go it from here also, or I can simply type in object and then manager. And then I'll go to bank account. And over here, here are fields and relationships. I'll click on it and I'll click on new to create a new field. And here will here, here is the form to select the data type of that field. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna select roll up summary. Roll up summary data type is only available on the object which is on the ma which is a master in a master tail relationship. It is not available on the child records or on the uh, um, like on the on the one sided record in a lookup relationship. It is only available on the one sided record which is on the which is of a master tail relationship. So I've selected roll up summary and then click on next. Over here I can type in the field name total amount deposited then click on next okay over here I'm, i need to select the summarized object the object of which child records i want to aggregate so i can select deposits if there are multiple child records or multiple detailed records uh, of whose master object is bank account then there will be a list and i can select any of one and here are all the operations which we have discussed right now count some minimum maximum some minimum maximum you can see that uh, like on some minimum maximum this field to aggregate is available but on count it is not because in count it will simply return the total number of child records available on that master record. So I'll uh, first like I, I, I'll click sum uh, because I want to summarize the information of amount field which is available on the like or, or what we can say is uh, like on the deposit record. So I'll select amount deposited and sum it will simply sum all the amounts on that particular uh, like on, on those child records which are related to John's account like D1, D2 and D4 and it will show that sum on the master record which is John's bank account record okay and uh, like if I will select minimum then it will show the minimum amount deposited field on all the child records and if I will select maximum then it will show all the maximum like the maximum value of from all the child records so and uh, like I'll, currently I'll select sum and then you can select minimum maximum according to your requirements or count if you want to find out the total number of records and here's filter criteria also this filter criteria actually specifies that uh, which records you want to 
include in the calculation if you want to include all the records just leave it as it is all records should be included or if you want to cert uh, if you want to include only certain records which meet a particular criteria then you can simply click on this and like set a criteria over here and after that only those records which meet this criteria will be included in the calculation currently i don't want to set any of the criteria i'll simply select all records should uh, be included in the calculation and click on next then again next and over here i'll simply click on save okay now we'll uh, like go to that bank account record of john and we'll see that is that uh, is this field total amount deposited available over here and is it actually showing the um, like b016 this is the john's account yes it's john's over here and uh, like where is the total amount deposited i think i need to refresh this page to see it Now here we can see that total amount deposited is ten thousand, which is calculated from this. These all all these related child records D one, D two, and D four. One thousand plus four thousand plus five thousand equal is equivalent to ten thousand. Now let's see what happened to uh, like other records uh, which are Johns and uh, not Johns, Pauls and Marks bank account. To Paul. Uh, the total amount deposited is eighteen thousand because the deposits are seven thousand, eight thousand, and three thousand. That equivalents to eighteen thousand. And what happened to uh, Paul's bank account or Mark's bank account? On the Mark's bank account, it's like fourteen thousand and. Child records are D seven and D nine were nine thousand and five thousand nine plus five fourteen. This is how roll up summary fields work. Similarly, we'll create three more roll up summary fields. One for the maximum of the deposits, uh, the, like maximum of amount deposited, and one for the minimum of amount deposited, and the third one to calculate the total number of rec child records on that master record. So. Let's go to the bank account and see what these roll up summary fields actually display. Uh, over here is total amount deposited which we have done right now and here are two more maximum amount deposited and minimum amount deposited and if you want to see uh, like this is lightning so we'll simply refresh. If you want to see the total number of records or total number of deposits also like here total number of deposits are three. And we'll if we'll go to the related list, here also total number of deposits are three. And if we'll go to another bank account record, let's say uh, B A zero 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 eighteen of Mark, and here on the related list, there are two deposits, and the total number of deposits is two, and minimum is five thousand. Over here we can find out that yes, five thousand is the minimum amount. And maximum is nine thousand, nine thousand, and so is here. And if we we'll go to B A zero one seven, that is of I guess Marks or Pauls, I guess Pauls bank account record. Here also there are three uh, total number of three deposits. Mm, let's see the related list. Yes, three, and minimum is three thousand, maximum is eight thousand. And the total is eighteen thousand. Minimum three, maximum eight, and total is eighteen. This is how roll up summaries actually work. Hope you have understood. Now let's see what points do we need to consider while creating a roll up summary field. The first point is before telling you the first point, I just want to recall the point which I told you earlier that roll up summary fields can only be created on the master object in a master table relationship. they cannot be created on the detail object or they cannot be created on the one side object of a lookup relationship they can only be created on the master object in a master table relationship but there is an exception to this account with opportunity what that means is that you can create roll up summary fields on account for the fields available on opportunity and 
Same goes with campaign with campaign members. You can also create roll up summary fields on campaign object to roll up the fields or summarize the fields of campaign member object. And uh, then comes the second point operation type of fields available. Okay, uh, in roll up summary fields, we have we basically have four operations count, sum, maximum, and minimum. In count, uh, there's no field to aggregate to, uh, like, I mean, we cannot aggregate any of the field. But in some maximum and minimum, we can aggregate fields. But which field will be available for the aggregation depends on the operation. How? Let's see. In some, only number, currency and person data type fields will be available. No other data type field will be available to aggregate. So in some, you can select only these data type, uh, these type of fields from the child uh, object to aggregate. Whereas in maximum and minimum, we can uh, like obviously we can aggregate these type of fields but we can aggregate date and date and time type of fields also uh, using this uh, like i mean using these op uh, roll up operations we can find out the maximum date or the maximum date and time or the minimum date or minimum date and time we can do that and we can like uh, i mean do maximum and minimum in number currency and percent fields also now let's see what the third point is after creating roll up summary fields, the master detail relationship can't be converted into a lookup relationship. Obviously, a master detail relationship cannot be uh, like converted into a lookup relationship once a roll up summary field is created because uh, like they, they cannot be roll up summary field on uh, like based on a lookup relationship. Roll up summary field can only exist in a master detail relationship. So if you still want to convert this master detail relationship into lookup relationship, first delete the roll up summary field and then converted to lookup relationship and that's it now just roll up your sleeves and get down to your org and implement roll up summary fields wherever required and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking right here and especially if you're watching this video on facebook or linkedin there's a link down in the description just hit that link go to the youtube channel hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to sales for so see you next week until then bye bye take care